Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Today we are going to talk about Titan's rackable log. Okay, so like I said, we're talking about the Titan Fitness Log today. Now, on their website, this is the only version they have. Now, you probably have seen other ones, if you've done a little research, where it doesn't have the rackable feature, but for some reason, it's no longer available. I'm not sure if they discontinued it or if it was uh, an issue with manufacturing or what. But on their website, they have this rackable log, 8-inch, 10-inch, and 12-inch. Now, most likely you picked this one or you're looking at, you are looking at this one because of the price. It's 218 for the 8 inch, 289 for the 12 inch. So you're looking at under $300 for a full size log compared to like Rogue where you're gonna be spending seven, $800 on a log this size. There are reasons why the pricing is a little lower, but you know, overall, this is not a bad product. My job today is to show you kind of the things to consider when purchasing this not to discourage you from buying it, but so you're fully aware of what you're getting. Everybody knows when you're trying to build a home gym, you're wanting to find the best product for the cheapest price, so you're not breaking the bank and you can continue your training and continue to get more products inside your gym. Now, starting off, the first thing that I wanna highlight is the rackable feature. This is a great feature. I purchased this because I like to do a lot of rack pressing, especially seated rack pressing. So this helps it put it in the squat rack, allowing me to set up without having to put buffers on the bar to space the weight out so the weights sit around the rack. This has it built in, it fits perfect. I've done it on two or three different racks right now. It fits every single one of them. So this is a very well measured out rack system. That also leads me to my first con or caution is what I would like to say more than con. Because if you're starting out in Strongman and your log press is 2, 250 pounds, this is going to hold up well. That's where I'm at. I'm around 220, 250 range. I've dropped this several times. No issue. Lands on the crash pads. No issue. So I have a gentleman who likes to come from time to time who's a lot stronger than me. He pushes nearly 400 pounds on log press. And he had a little mishap. He lost his footing. He dropped it from overhead. He put a slight bow in it. That's gonna happen when you get to that heavy weight because this gap between the barrel and the plates allows a lot of wiggle room, especially if you're dropping it from overhead. He didn't mean to, it was an accident, but those happen. So if you are pressing three to 400 pounds consistently with a log, this may not be the one you wanna go with because if you drop it more than a couple of times, you're gonna see significant bowing. There's a little bowing in this one from just that one drop. You do it over and over again, you're gonna have a very warped log. It's gonna be unbalanced. It's gonna feel awkward when you rack it to the chest and press overhead. So consider that where, you, where are you in your career, where are you in your lift, is something more durable what you need to be looking at. If you're wanting to do it just for rack pressing, this is awesome. I use it on a weekly basis. I use it both in my overhead pressing from the floor and from the rack. So it's not a bad log, but just think where are you in your abilities today? Another thing to consider is when you buy this, you're most likely going to want to buy some collars. Now, this is true for a lot of different logs. Rogue, uh, Titan, every log that I've seen, collars that are just your generic brand typically don't hold tight on this one. As you can see, I lock this down. It holds a little bit, but you start putting four or five plates on there, and it slides right off with a lock, with it locked in. So look for a higher quality uh, I'm not sure any good brands right off the top of my head, but like Lockjaw, something that's going to hold on tighter to the bar so it's not sliding off. Uh, another thing to consider, the handles on these, the Titan Log, they tend to be a little bit thicker than what you would see in other logs. Not quite a fat grip, but significantly thicker than what you would find on something a little more competitive. And that can lead to some uncomfortable lifts. I have had people say that it feels like it's about to slip out of their hand because their thumb's not wrapped around all the way. So it is a thicker grip. The barrel size on this one. Now they label them 8, 10, and 12. This is supposed to be a 12 inch. 
It's a little closer to 12 and a half, 13 inches in diameter. Um, when I measured it, it came out to just in between 12 and a half, so like 12 and three quarters. A good friend of mine who's very knowledgeable and strong man, a high level competitor, he once told me that the bigger the barrel, the easier it is to clean, but it's harder to press overhead. So an eight inch, a 10 inch barrel, it's very hard to get to the rack position compared to a 12 inch, but it's easier to press them overhead versus a 12 inch. With this one being closer to 13 inches, it's gonna feel a little more difficult to get overhead. However, it might be a little bit easier to get to your chest. So don't be surprised if you use this one in training and you go to a competition or something and the other one feels a little harder to get to the chest, but a little bit easier to get overhead. So consider that this barrel is closer to 13 inches versus 12. And then guys, again, this is not me trying to say anything negative or try to convince you to go buy this. Uh, Titan is a good brand for a lot of different things. This log, like I said, is ideal for rack pressing. I love it, it does a great job, but depending on where you're at, this may not be suitable for you. If you're in the beginning, I highly recommend it, especially if you're trying to save some money in the long run. But if you're looking at something that's gonna be a little more sustainable over long term, a little bit heavier duty, maybe consider a different brand. All right guys, I hope you have a wonderful day. If I didn't answer a question that you were looking for, Comment below, let me know. I always do my best to try to figure it out for you and I'll be happy to help you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe.